Good day, Grade 11s. My name is Patience Ngobeni, and I will be taking you through today's exciting lesson called Recruitment and Selection. Now, in this lesson, we are going to be focusing on the practice as well as the application questions. Let's get straight to our first application question, which says we must read the scenario and answer the questions. Now, the questions read as, which two aspects of the recruitment procedure can you find in the scenario? And then, as you already know, we need to quote from the scenario to support our answer. Now, remember, grade 11, that when you are quoting, you are taking the statement as it appears from the scenario, and then you write it down as it is. Now let's go through the scenario together. It says, Stacy Trading is a newly established business that is looking for people with the necessary skills and knowledge to join the business. Stacy, the owner of the business, prepared the job description and the job specification. She also prepared an advertisement that contains relevant information. Now, remember that the question wants us to quote two of the aspects of the procedure. Now, you must note to say when we are talking about the procedure, we are talking about the steps that are involved in the recruitment procedure. So now that I have given you a clue, you will note to say that the first statement does not really answer our question because it is simply telling us that the business is a business that is established and looking for people, but it does not give us the steps of the recruitment procedure. Then the second statement says that the owner prepared a job description and a job specification. Now that is definitely a step of the recruitment procedure. Now, as you can see, I have then written the statement as it has appeared from the scenario. And then it also says that she prepared an advertisement that contains relevant information. Now, as you can see, I have written the statement exactly as it appears from the scenario. Now, let's then look at our second practice question, which says, discuss other aspects of the recruitment procedure. Now, remember, grade 11s, I cannot stress this enough. If the question is asking you to describe or explain other factors, it means that you are not going to repeat what you have already identified in the scenario. You need to then come up with different uh, responses that are different to the ones in the scenario. Now, let's check. The human resource manager must determine the job needs in the business vacancies. So in simple terms, the human resource manager must sit down and analyze to say what exactly is required in this job, what is it that the duties of the job requires, and who is the most suitable candidate for that position. They must also determine the key performance areas of the job. So this is the task that the employee will be doing mostly in that business. So if we are saying we are looking for a teacher, for example, then it means that their key performance area will be to teach. Then we must choose the recruitment method, which can either be internal or external methods of recruitment. Now remember that the business can choose to hire internally which means they are looking for a candidate who is already inside the business. Or when they are looking at a candidate externally, it means that they are now advertising the post outside for people that are outside and can now apply to be part of the employees in the business. The advertisement should also be prepared with relevant information, such as the name of the company, the contact details, and the contact person. So in simple terms, when we are done with analyzing all the requirements of the job, 
we need to place the advertisement, including all the necessary information about the position. So that when applicants apply, they know exactly who to apply to, where and by when. And then let's look at the third practice question. It says there that we must explain the differences between a job description as well as a job specification. Now, as you can see, I have drawn my table to make the differences clear. Firstly, it says that the job description describes the nature and the type of duties and responsibilities associated with a specific position. Now, it can happen that we are looking for a teacher, for example. So if we are looking for a teacher on the job description, we are going to write that we are looking for a teacher and then who will maybe teach grade 11 business studies. And then this teacher maybe must also be able to sing. That is a description. I am simply telling you what the duties of that job require. But then now when I'm looking at the specification, I am now focusing on the qualities, the skills and qualifications for that specific position. So now I will elaborate further to say this teacher must have five years experience. And then the teacher maybe must also have a degree. And then maybe the teacher must also be able to, let's say, teach Africans, for example. So I am simply elaborating the specific skills and qualifications that this person must have. Now you might ask yourself, what is the, the necessity of preparing a job description and a job uh, uh, um, specification? You want to make sure that you are limiting the number of applications that uh, people are going to put in. And then job description also shows the key performance areas and duties for a certain position, such as the job title, the working conditions, which will be stipulated. So then, as I said before, in the description, you are telling the candidates exactly what they will be doing in that business. While with specification, it highlights key aspects such as qualifications and unusual work requests and willingness to travel which will be then specified in the job specification. So like I said, with the job specification, you will specify to say, yes, we want a business studies teacher, but this teacher must also be able to maybe speak or teach Africans. Then they must also be able to, uh, they must be willing to work maybe on Saturdays and Sundays. So you are specifying exactly what the job requires you to do. Now, I am going to give you a very short ad break where you will think about what are the qualifications or qualities needed to become a teacher. As you think about it, let's quickly go to an ad break. See you soon. <music> 